Hello, this is your Electronics Control Center guide for the Hydrock 16G2. Under General Settings, we have the Quick Switch, and this has a few standout features, including Function, or FN Key Lock, enabling eliminates the need to use the FN key in conjunction with the applicable F key. Automatic AC Power On, enabling power on your laptop when plugged into its power supply, rather than opening the laptop and pressing the power button. Perhaps convenient for those who often connect to an external monitor and peripherals, maybe essentially a portable desktop. Co-pilot key lock. Don't like the new co-pilot key? Join the club. Enable the lock. No more co-pilot pop-up when pressed. Mini LED local dimming. If you've opted for the mini LED display, you can enable the local dimming feature. On by default, which provides an improved contrast ratio, disable local dimming for uniform screen brightness and latency reduction. Here you can toggle on or off the Windows devices, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, webcam, and touchpad. Select GPU mode, dedicated GPU mode, and your laptop will bypass its integrated graphics, may offer a more reliable gaming experience. Hybrid mode will switch between the dedicated NVIDIA graphics and the CPU's integrated graphics designed to increase on battery runtime. Switching to the opposite mode currently in use will require a system reboot. You can also access this switch within the BIOS, enter setup, advanced, scroll down to the display mode and make your selection. Then press F10 and enter to save and reset. Panel refresh rates can be selected manually between 60 Hz, 240 Hz, and 300 Hz for both the display options on the Hydrock 16G2. Battery modes for battery health. It's too early to identify how well these modes work or for me to recommend a specific mode selection. Longevity of the laptop battery cells has improved over the years in general. Performance settings. Power mode selection. Office mode. Less power, less heat, less noise. Balance mode is a middle ground for maximizing performance before maximum fan is required. And then the beast mode, which will have more power and more noise. It's a fire and forget high performance option. However, custom mode unlocks the overclocking settings and there's three power limits for the CPU. Feel free to tweak these to your preference. CPU Advanced Performance Menu Enabling will unlock an additional section in the BIOS that will reveal memory tuning including XMP options should your memory module support it. You can access this within your BIOS by repeatedly pressing F2 during boot, set up advanced, scroll down to the bottom and select memory. Electro Boost Enabled will allow the 5080 or 5090 to pull up to 175 watts. Disabled, and you can configure the wattage of the 5080 and 5090 from 95 watts to 150 watts. Additionally, with Electro Boost off, you can enable Dynamic Boost to add up to an additional 25 watts. Additional wattage applied from Dynamic Boost enabled will depend on your CPU wattage and thermal headroom. I like to optimize the Hydrox 16G2 for a balance of performance, efficiency, thermals, and fan acoustics. In this case, I'll set the Intel 275 HX CPU power limits 1 and 2 to 35 watts and its power limit 4 to its maximum. Additionally, you may find thermals with a 150 watt GPU thermally ideal with minimal performance loss. For comparison, beast mode on the left and a tuned with the previously mentioned settings on the right. Perhaps not a bad trade-off, 5% loss in performance for a 10 degree Celsius drop and half of the fan noise. Under fan tuning, you have a fan switch speed. You can delay the time in which the fans begin to speed up by a maximum of 12 seconds. This is great because it can be annoying to have your fans ramp up for no reason at all when installing Windows updates or checking your email. Definitely try this quality of life setting out for yourself. The maximum fan button, pretty self-explanatory, but lacks convenience, the shortcut key combo for this is FN and 1. Enable custom fan control to independently modify your CPU and GPU fans, and restore will bring this back to factory defaults for all of the above settings. 
liquid propulsion package is covered in its own video linked in the description below. Display settings, these are going to be user preference, but that mini LED display with its 100% P3 color makes these settings pop. Within light settings, you can adjust your idle timer of the keyboard and light bar RGB. Your keyboard RGB backlighting options are selectable here. Uh, select user mode for the per key RGB, and yes, you can select white for the keyboard, and it comes out nicely in person. The light bar has beautiful RGB, but white is not an option, unfortunately. Device information, system monitoring, and the about section are fairly straightforward, and with any luck, so is this video. Thank <laughs> you.